Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 15, and we're continuing our playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords. We... I think we're at the tail end of the Paragus Mining Station. We just got confronted by the HK Protocol droid. Assassin droid. And uh, he's about to prevent us from escaping. And he promises us that he's not intending to kill us, but if he's got a bust a couple of kneecaps. Yeah, so be it. That's what cult attacks are for. All right. We need to get rid of these uh these got these support guys first and foremost. So, let me no, not a sonic detonator, sonic grenade, ion grenade. Let's toss that. And then we'll hit stun droid. And then we'll engage in melee. What is it? Let's get her to toss an ion grenade on that side. Then force push. And then hit up a force valor. And we'll have her switch weapons to uh, her ranged. Just say the word. And we'll get Atten. We've already got our two two grenades going. So let's get him to hit that energy shield. And then start... Uh, oh, that's right. He doesn't have flurry yet. And we'll get him to just start attacking. <laughs> And then let's get back and let's uh, run through these first ones. Where did you go? What are you doing up there? Why did you just run into combat like that? Are you kidding me? Are you crazy, lady? Oh, okay, fine. All right, the rest of them are down, so... Uh, Oh, I should probably get one of those shield thingies on, too. Oop. What is it? This is not the time for questions. No, oh, no. Very well. I thought you'd give me something else. Let's, uh... What I was trying to find was that stupid med pack. I've got a few of those. Yeah, no, I know. I want to use that on me. One more. And let's get a. There we go. And one more. There we go. All right. What is it? Why are we stopping? Uh, so what do you know I about know we need to get out of here. Like I said, it's a minefield looking for any excuse to blow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, I'd be happy to share my whole life story when we aren't getting chased by assassin droids and Sith troops, all right? All right. So that's it there. Let's get the remains and droid self-sustaining unit. I don't remember what that's about, but that HK vocabulator, that is one of four parts we need to rebuild an old friend. So let's grab all the items because, of course, we're going to grab all the items. And then it is up this way. map uh no up the other way because we need to head to that docking port well do we need to go to the computer first for some reason i thought we needed to go to the computer first nope nothing new there all right let's uh let's head to the docking port
and on to the Harbinger. You know what? Before we do that, let's go ahead and save the game. Just to just to be safe. Okay. Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing um. on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi hey, I've ever hey. met. Hey, I like just woke up. All right, so we got some options like maybe you'd like it back in your cell. It's not too late to dump you back in the security room. Atten's right, we need to get off the ship. We need a plan, not accusations. There's nowhere else to go. The facility is sealed off. Let's go with calm down. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. All right, as long as the Harbinger is docked, we can use it to reach the hangar. We can bypass the force field. And I saw the vessel dock. All right, let, let's go with that first one. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if sure you, you could do. reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift <laughs> yeah, to clear the Paragus Ouch. asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. All right, so how did this ship dock? Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their nav computer. They'd have to. All right. So let's get their codes. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Let us go. Now that you have a party, certain actions and dialogue responses will increase or decrease your influence with your companions depending on their personalities. Some respect cruelty, while others may respect nobility, loyalty, cleverness, brute force, and so on. The higher your influence with a companion, the more your alignment affects theirs. An extreme high and low influence with a companion can open up additional dialogue choices. There are benefits to both, so treat them as you will. Our enemies gather while we wait here. All right, forgive me. Watch that tone, old woman. Atten's plan was a good one. I'm still debating about whether we should just leave Atten here. Uh, forgive me. Very well. All right, so journal entry added. Light side points gained and influence gained with Korea. Nice. All right, um... And that's back to Paragus. Let's, uh... Okay, that's a dead end. So that makes this a lot easier. Wait a second. Can we get in here? What's down this way? Try the security skill. I need to find a workstation so I can get Kira a, a better melee weapon than what she's got. Or I need to find her a better melee weapon. Uh, chemicals and repair kits are nice. And I, I need to find out if I'm going to be facing more droids here or actual people so I can change out weapons accordingly. You know, alright, let's, uh, let's do this first. And with our 26 bucks, we can get nothing useful. Let's go ahead and instead of the field survival pistol, let's go ahead and bump them up to the mining laser. And what do we got on this side? There's an awful lot of hallway down this hallway. Alright, that's the busted... Oh, hey! <laughs> Hello! Ha ha! 
Hello, awareness. Let me stun you and queue up some flurries. While Attaboy here tries to pull off some sniper shots. And she comes in for a regular attack. Follows up with another stun. And then some more attacks. And we'll see how that goes. Get him! Quicker! They have any uh, weapons worth taking? By the way, we need to find you some uh, armor or something. Nothing? No weapons? Are you kidding me? Alright. What's in this way? A briefing room. Where's Raker? Oh wait, no. Wrong franchise. Alright. Check the briefing logs. We've been diverted from Onderon to the Outer Rim. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard-pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malak, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Onderon will have to wait. Okay. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the Outer Rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. I think that's my next uh, location. Days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger well. no special treatment, nor make any indication of his identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, he's got diplomatic... That might actually have been me. Whether he knows it or not. We'll find out soon enough. We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There's no match for the vessel in our databanks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock freighter of some kind. We'll only know for <laughs> sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. Okay, and priority over. Check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there's a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. Hey, the it's Karth. On the freighter. Did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our databanks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've <laughs> investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that he reached Helos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure he arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Onassi out. <sighs> oh, Admiral. The right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. <laughs> hey, I know that feeling. Query, you sent for me, Captain. Yes, I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything he needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. His safety is our top concern. Statement. Um. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. Well then. Alright. So that's good to know. Our old friend Karth from the first game is now Admiral Onassi. Ooh, look at him, Mr. Fancy Pants. Alright. Repeating Blaster Carbine. <laughs> that could also be nice. Anything else in the briefing room? No? Okay. That's the busted door. And... This... That's actually the way out. Um... Alright, I'll loot the boxes. Okay, nope. I'll uh, take care of these guys first. Let me... Uh, what do you mean talk to the Sith Assassin?
Let me stun the Sith Assassin and do that. Let's get Kiera to turn around and take care of Home Skillet in the back here. And then we'll get Attaboy over here to make sure Kira doesn't die by... Oh, oh, there's two of them. All right, uh, forget the sniper. Let's hit the attack. What are you doing going there, lady? Just start attacking him. Okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I changed her over to uh, ranged weapon. That should have been easier. Okay. All right, what do we got in there? Some battle armor and adrenaline clarity. Um, is Attaboy here able to use battle? No? Oh, because that's all heavy armor and he can't do that. Okay. All right, that's empty. Anything else in here? All right, that door I don't want to mess with just yet. Because that is the way out, and we are so not done here yet. All right, let's uh, see what's in the box. A heavy combat suit and 36 credits. Is that also heavy armor? No, that is light armor. Okay. As much as I would love to use the light armor, that means that I cannot use my Jedi powers. But I think he will be able to go from a defense bonus of 4 to a bonus of 5. Um, the only problem is, is he doesn't get the bonus to all saves. A plus 2 to all saves or an extra defense bonus of 5. I like him having the, the, the bonus to... All saves a lot better, so, uh, doggone it. Anybody, anybody get a better weapon? Anybody? I guess I should have backtracked over in Paragus to find, uh, to find a workbench to build another sword for, uh, Lady Deathstrike over there. Alright, that's empty, that's empty. That's the busted door. Because we need to get the uh, orbit charts before we leave. And they should be here. Alright. Anything lootable? Anything? Alright. Let's uh, start out the computer. Reroute the Navi computer. Slice the Navi computer. Alright, so basically... Uh, they, they give you two options for this crucial story element depending on which one you happen to have uh, so it's either going to cost you a spike or a part since I have more parts than spikes let me use that you have rerouted the system and access what remains of the astrogation capabilities and let's download the drift charts and check the logs we have taken on passengers to Telos sir we've just received an emergency broadcast a freighter under attack by Sith forces can you get an ID on the ship Yes, sir. We have its ID signature. It's not in our databanks, but its profile suggests some low-stock freighter. It says it's being hit hard by a Sith warship. Hmm. Sir? I'll need to confirm with command before we move to intercept. Okay. And that's the briefing that we saw over there. Report. The Sith warship hmm. is empty, sir. We attached an umbilical and sent three strike teams through it, and there's no sign of a crew or its commander. There's no one on board? What about the escape pods? They're still in their berths, sir. Uh, this place, it, it's empty. It's like a ghost ship. Then who was firing yeah, okay. the freighter? We don't know, sir. The freighter's empty, too. That's where we the invisible assassins came from. T3 unit, badly damaged. Did you still want a tractor beam to the harbinger? Search the freighter and the warship one more time. If they're clean, then we'll tractor the freighter over. Yes, sir. No idea why the Admiral thought that freighter worth all the effort. But we'll find out. All right, survivors. Evan Hawk was dead, sir. We're starting autopsies within the hour. What about that Sith corpse we retrieved from the warship? We haven't had a chance to fully examine it, sir. He looks human, but he's fractured in several places. Then keep me posted. Hmm. Something's wrong here, and I want to know where all those Sith on the warship went. All right, 
right, an emergency We're still report. Experiencing a problem with the communications array, and now maintenance is telling me there's a cascade failure in the weapons. Sir, I just picked up an unusual sound from Med Lab. Ah! I have come for the Jedi. What the hell was that? Sir, I don't know. That's not an unusual sound, that's a threat. Send a security team to Med Lab now. Alright, I think I know what happened here. Alright, so we got our logs. We got some points. Now, technically, all we have to do is backtrack, but we're going to miss out on a couple of fights, and I really need the XP. Uh, okay, I really want the XP. So let's head over here. And let's grab our parts and stuff, which is good because if, uh, that's enough parts to cover whatever we're missing for the crucial story element. I would have thought there would have been more loot here, though. Yeah, the voice acting, it wasn't that bad. All right. Um, yeah, let's do this door first. The door's been magnetically sealed and it cannot be opened. Well, okay then. I guess we are going through this door. Hello, Mr. Assassin Assassin. Yeah! yeah. More where that came from. Cut him! <laughs> More where that came Come from. on, guys. Could could somebody Look is it is it really too much to ask that you guys uh leave a weapon behind or something? What is it? Why are we stopping? <sighs> that was what I wanted to do. All right. Oh, that reminds me. If I've got Karth, not not Karth, uh, Atten, I can change him from aggressive to ranged. Yes. And I'm going to change her from aggressive to Jedi support. <laughs> I keep forgetting that uh, y you got to change the way that they stand. And then I'll leave him as aggressive for whenever I've got to leave him unattended. All right, that's everybody there. I'm not setting anybody to grenadier this go around because I, I don't want to go through that many grenades. Oh, please be a weapon or a workbench. A melee shield. Okay. Anything over here? All right, lockbox. Promising. Oh, all that for a med pack? Come on. <sighs> yes. Uh, nothing on one. Click on two. Wait. Uh. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Assassin. -y Assassin, you got right up on me there. Did no. No nobody was kind enough to drop something. Ah. Okay. Hi. I saw you coming this time. I want you to stand still while my people shoot you up. Alright. Hello? Anybody? An extra weapon? Let's check the escape pod. All the escape pods have been locked. They cannot be used. Alright, nothing in the bodies. And in this last cylinder we have... A repeating blaster carbine and Zessian Shah Initiate Armor. Yeah, what? Uh, battle armor, Achani armor, HK vocabulator. Oh! T3M4 can use the droid self-sustaining unit to regenerate vitality points. Ooh, that's always nice. 
Alright, here we go. Light armor, defense bonus 4, max dex 4, fort plus 1, and does not restrict force powers. Oh yeah. Yes please. Alright, let, yep, 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 yep. Because uh, all, all I got is the cold and fire protection from the minor uniform. Let's uh, let's get that initiated armor right there. All right, and it looks like we need to level up. So let's level up. And we need to get our skills. We are keeping our security maxed out, our persuade maxed out, and our computer use maxed out. And I'm tempted to bump up awareness, but our ability to break down and create med packs and that sort of thing is based off of our treat injury skill. So I'm going to go ahead and actually max that one out. As much as I would love to keep my awareness up higher, um, I, think, uh, I think it's just going to be permanently a little bit lower than everything else. And that, that's just... Oh, Oh well. At least my minions have more awareness. Okay. And for feats, I got Force Immunity to Stun an Unarmed Specialist too. Nice. The question is, is do I want to advance something or do I want to add something? Um, precise Shot is nice, but that's more of the range stuff that I'm not going to bother doing. Stealth run. I ain't messing with stealth. Not going to worry about it. Regenerate vitality points is nice. That that means that just by walking around, your vitality points regen, and, and that could be very nice. Mobility. Eh, no. It's nice, but no. We're not doing any of the finesse stuff here. Dual strike. This is getting more and more appealing now that I have a team because that means you get a plus two bonus to hit when you're attacking somebody that another party member is also attacking. And while I do occasionally uh, like to spread out the love in uh, dividing and conquering, uh, doubling down is always nice too. Uh, I can add repair and demolitions to my class skills, which I may still hold as an option in reserve. This is the other one. Regenerate force points. Uh, basically, you recover your force points quicker. I just, I'm not sure that that's the best uh, best use of a feat right now. So let's see if we got anything that's better. Close combat? A melee. It's all close combat. If I'm using a laser, it's because they are way over there or I don't want to get up close. Um, dueling, I'm not going to do with this character. Uh, I don't know if you'll always have a team, but you will often enough to get value out of the feat. So, yeah, there's probably going to be spot just like in the, the first Knights of the Old Republic, there's probably going to be spots here and there where you'll have to do something solo, but they will be special spots and not, uh, and not the bulk of the time. So, no, you won't always have a team but you'll have a team often enough that it's worth taking the feat if you really want to coordinate your attacks that way all right um force immunity is going to get it toughness is always a good one nobody ever said i had too many hit points jedi defense okay i could take that that's always nice I'm not going to do weapons focus melee because as soon as I get a lightsaber, that is going to be my only melee weapon. Period. Full stop. And, and I am so getting a double bladed lightsaber. I'm not going to bother with any of the other weapons proficiencies. I'm not going to worry about any of the shooty shooty stuff because I'm not shooting anybody with this Jedi unless they are way over there. Conditioning's an option. Plus one to all saving throws. Gearhead, no. Not yet. Not until I get... Not unless I run out of things to invest feats in. Improved flurry. That's an option. 
Uh, not empathy. I'm really not even worried about critical strike as much. Um, no caution. I'm not even going to worry about the advanced armors yet. Because I don't think there are... I'd have to double check, but I don't think there are any medium armors that also allow you to use your force points. So I'm really looking at the improved flurry or the improved two-weapon fighting. Uh, improved two-weapon fighting is going to reduce the attack penalty by an additional 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the improved two-weapon fighting. As much as I would love the improved flurry, I can live with the penalty from flurry for now. So let's do the improved two weapon fighting. And then we'll do the improved flurry next. What powers? Ooh, I'm level six now. I could choose heal. Ooh. Ooh, though, that, that's, uh,. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of people with heal. I, I, I know it's not always the best to double up on uh, force powers and whatnot like that, but oh yeah, we're, we're all totally, we're going to heal. Heal, baby, heal. All right. Add power. Okay. Accept. Is anybody else going to level up? No, you're going to be 48 points short of leveling. Come on, man. 48 points. All right. You are also going to be 48 points shy of leveling. Like, what do we got to do? Not trip. Can, can I, can I round that up? Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Now that we got all that nice loot and we hit the end of our diversion before we head on to the fuel line. Let's go ahead and save the game. Okay. Okay. And this is where this is where we're going to insert another cut. So those of you on the stream, hang tight for just a second. And those of you on YouTube, you know what's coming next. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.